Alright, so I didn't write a script for this or anything. Kind of made this video just to test out the new camera angles at the bottom left of the screen. We've got two modular cameras. So we're flying on Enigma and we're going to do a little bit of troop drops and uh, see what we can get into. So we're in Syria and uh, pretty much immediately getting shot at by a Vulcan here, so cut a pretty hard right after taking some rounds to the face and uh, we're turfing it pretty much the entire flight. So we get to see what it looks like from the control sides now. The Mi-8 is one of my favorite helicopters to fly because it is just unbelievably maneuverable for how big of an aircraft it is. You can see a little dogfight going on in the distance over there. I'm trying to put the aircraft down pretty quickly because I know I was getting shot at from this side of enemy lines. Okay, set the aircraft down there. It was an R right landing. Checking the map right over in nice. enemy territory. Nice. Hydraulic system jailing at me, telling me that I've rolled over to the AUX system because I got hit there, but we're okay. We've got a secondary system for a reason. So I'm dumping out main troops, regular attack troops, and a recon so that we can see what's going on out here. And all of a sudden, I'm looking around here. I cannot see where it is, but I'm just getting impact noise from that Vulcan cannon. It's paranoid because I feel like that could be hitting me if I move. I'm looking around everywhere, checking the mirrors. Is that aux system or the hydraulic system telling me that it's on? It's my guys hanging out there. They don't seem to care. So I'm going to lift up here. Get a little break from the Vulcan here a little bit more. I must have best been that spot that I was in that they liked me. There's a little bounce off the ground here, no big deal. As long as I don't run any of those guys over, we'll strafe to the left here, try to stay low. Let's try to get out of that area. Shot it from the left over here too. So same thing, stay low. Just try to get out of the area. You hear those rounds just landing everywhere. Right, we're coming back. Grab those troops that I just dropped off. They've destroyed some things. Recon's come back with a bunch of units. Was going to check the map right there, but then I see these flares popping off at about 11.30. Cloud conditions have changed for direct sunlight now. Hear those rounds popping off, getting shot at again, putting the pressure on me. See one land right there. Just to the right of the compass there, you can see the descent rate. I'm trying to keep it above the five. Ideally, I want to keep it above three, but you see it dip below five here. I'm trying to stay above VRS. Don't want to have the aircraft just fall out of the sky. So, arrested that descent. Get on the ground and pick those guys up. You serious? Bounce that landing, pretty deplorable landing. Oh, we got on the ground. 
scoop these guys up. They just pop into the helicopter, and then we're gonna hover taxi over here. Get to take a look at this new grass that uh, DCS has put in. I think it looks great. Showcase that during this hover taxi. Grab these guys. They pop in. Kind of unnatural, but that's just kind of how they do it. And then I had seen this guy over here. You can barely see him off my nose. So. Hover taxi over to him and see what's going on. This is not a soldier that I had dropped off, so I figured I'd roll over there. Maybe I was thinking he was a CSAR, maybe a pilot that had ejected, so I was going to roll over there. Do a little hover taxi, stay low. I know that there's still enemies in the area, still uh, tanks. Maybe a Vulcan that could shoot me, so I was trying to stay as low to the ground, but not just drive because the wheels can get hung up in the sand and roll the helicopter. Love how the patches of grass come into focus and you can see them wiggling around. I think they did a really good job, but the grass really makes the helicopter gameplay a lot better. See me pulling the collective up and pushing the stick forward. We're going to do an actual taxi with the brakes off. Scoop up right behind this guy. And this is when I started to figure out that maybe I can't pick this guy up. It's one of the better features of the uh, MI-8 right here that I'm about to use. There it is. Push that button right there. The horn, yep. He doesn't seem like he's responding, so maybe we get a little closer. Same thing, pull a little bit collective, push the stick forward. And this is what I'm figuring out. This is Enigma's new JTAC. So this is a guy that's out there spotting for you and putting the smokes down. So you cannot pick this guy up. So I eventually drop some dudes out with him. That was a little bit of uh, time skip there. The guys that I've dropped have now come back. They've destroyed some more units. This is more my standard squad and recon that we're picking up here. And I'm looking out in the distance there and I get really excited. I was really hoping I was going to get to attack a Huey while I was out here. So I roll out there. See if I can't get a better look. You see that dot out on the horizon right at the 12 o'clock zoom in and you see that guppy shape so it's either an MI-8, I'm 99% sure it's an MI-8 or it's an MI-24 so it's definitely not a Huey. Turn around and go back and pick up my guys. All the, all the while I'm getting shot at by some kind of Vulcan or more likely some kind of higher caliber gun because of the low fire rate. Either way it's not something you want to get hit by. So I'm going to swing in here and pick these guys up. They've been doing work. It looks like Enigma's reduced the amount of units that a single standard squad can kill down to two. So you're not as effective as a helicopter user anymore. I think it used to be that each soldier would destroy a unit. Now it looks like two soldiers destroy a unit. See that grass wiggling around down there. I just love the way the new grass looks. I 
really had a good landing going there and until I wiggled around there and did what I did there. But this is kind of how it goes. Take a peek at that. JTAC again. Just kind of seem to be fascinated by that. So those guys popped in. Just taking a look around in the area. Those are all the units that my recon found, all those circles on the map. I'm seeing that I'm just a little too far away to drop. When you're using standard units, you got to be within four kilometers to use standard squads and helicopters on Enigma to destroy units. That's just outside. Probably about five kilometers there. So we're going to fly over there and we're immediately getting shot at. So this is not ideal. So we're going to have to do something pretty special here to get these guys on the ground and get out before, uh, before we die. So really not trying to take these rounds to the face. They're coming pretty much right on us from the 11 o'clock. So as you can see, we're coming in pretty quick. Brakes are off, and we're just going to roll. Throw the brakes on. Collectives all the way on the floor. As soon as we stop, troops are coming out. See it count down. Four, three, two, one. They're all out. As soon as they're all out, collective comes back up and we're out of here. All the while, those units are going to continue to fire at us, so try to stay low. These power lines aren't making me feel very safe, so decided to get over. And uh, that was really enough for me, so decided to get out of there and return to base. So, I hope you liked this. Uh, this is just kind of a test. These new cameras, like I said, you're going to see a lot more of this. I think I'm just going to stay to this form factor. Anyway, I'd really appreciate it if you shot a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribed. It really helps me out. All right. Bye.